hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel once not subscribing if today is your first time today i'm going to show you how to create a simple strike through using checkboxes so this is just going to work like a to-do list application so once a task is completed and you click on the check you can see it's going to show completed the status and it's also going to strike through or put across through the item so i'm going to walk you through how to do this step by step with no steps skipped okay so let's jump right into action and do this now open a new worksheet so i'm going to click on a new worksheet and then i'm actually going to highlight and then just open up my cells my columns and then my rule and then we need just three columns for this so we just need a tax we need the items and then we also need the status so these are the three columns we need now for the items i'm actually going to use the same thing over here so let me just copy what i have over here and then let's paste it let's just paste it here so these are the same items i'm going to use i'm actually going to open the column a bit just to accommodate what i have now let me highlight everything and then let me center in the middle align what i have okay so now what we want to do next is to apply a border around it so under the home tab let's click on borders and then let's use tick outside border and then also let's use all borders okay let me zoom in on what i'm doing at the moment remember to subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification now let's just highlight at the top let's highlight the headings and then let's just apply some color to it okay and then let's bold in this now first we need to add our check boxes so we're going to add our check boxes over here and what we're going to do is you need to make sure you have a developer menu enabled if you don't have that you can easily go to file go to option down here click on options and from here just go to custom ribbon go to custom ribbon from here and then you should see developer option from the list just select that and then make, make sure you click on add i have already done that so i have my developer option there once you are done just click on ok i have already done that so now let's go ahead and then click on insert and then click on what checkbox click on that and then just drag it over here let's just add our text box here and we also need to just clear the label over there now we need that for all so what you need to do is i select the first one bring your cursor on the box here and then just drag it down then we need to have it for the rest okay so i think i need to just highlight this and then make this text white so let's go back to the home tab and then make sure this text is white okay now anytime we click on the checkbox we want to show it's going to indicate that true or false and once this is checked then you should show over here the status you need to change to completed okay the status need to change to completed if it's not done then you should show pending so that's what you need to do over here now in order to do this just need we need to go ahead and then make sure this is indicating whether true or false so right click on this and then let's go to format control click on format control and then make sure go to the cell link click over there and then make sure we highlight or we just select this column and then just click on ok now this time around when i come here and i click on this you can see it's showing true beneath our checkbox when i uncheck it's going to show false okay so that is what we want to do and i'll show you how to hide that later on now let's go ahead and then do that for the rest let's do that for the rest i'm actually going to select and then just do the same process i'm actually going to repeat the process for the rest Okay, so this is basically going to be the same process and that will be all so let me just do it and then make sure i select this particular cell do it for this as well format control select that cell okay select that cell and click on ok and then this is going to be the last one format cell and then we select there and then click on the cell highlight it that's all so now anytime you click on this it's going to once you click on it, it's going to say true if you uncheck it's going to show false okay so that is what we need to use to display our status so we're going to use conditional we're going to use the if statement so we're going to say equal to so this is going to be if so if this column that is the c4 if the column over here is true if it, this column is true then what we're going to do is that we're going to show completed okay and this is going to be double quote so this is going to show completed okay and this is actually going to be completed and then if anything else 
then it's going to be pending so that is going to be pending okay pending and then we need to actually close this bracket and then hit enter i can see at the moment it's showing what pending because i've not checked this box so once i click on this you can see it will change to what completed now we want this to apply to this entire column so let's just select this and then drag this down we want to drag this down you can see at the moment it's all showing pending pending once i click on check and it's going to show completed but after we select completed we want to show the strike through they pass this particular transportation then that means the items have been done okay but we need to first hide this particular text the true or false showing beneath our check boxes we need to hide that so select this entire column and then we'll go to our text and then make sure we select white and then it's going to hide that so you can see at the moment we are no more showing what the true or false beneath our check boxes so now let's go ahead anytime we click on this if you look at our final project over here anytime you select any checkbox it's going to show the strike through so that's the same thing we want to do over here so in order to do that we knew we're going to use the conditional formatting so we need to make sure we use the conditional formatting to do that so we're going to select this entire column here that's the items column and then go to conditional formatting and we'll go to new rule so we select new rule and you go to use a formula to determine which cell to format okay so we select this once we select this we're going to go ahead and then put a very simple formula over here it's going to call to, we're going to type equal to then dollar signs which means we want it to be static and then the first column over here the first column over here is going to show pending and it's going to display that pending or completed so we're going to say it's going to be e4 this column is going to be e4 so you're going to say e4 equal to then let's put into bracket completed okay so this is the simple formula we're going to use and then over here the format we're going to click on the format and then let's go to the format option we're going to select what the font option we're going to select strike true so you can see over here you can see how the strike true is going to show then we're going to use some color to indicate that so you can select any color of your choice so we're just going to use the light green over here or the light green over here and click on ok so once this is done we just have to click on ok and you can see at the moment once anything is selected from the list over here you can see it has been highlighted like subscribe for more videos like this so anytime i select on this it's going to strike true and then it's actually going to show completed as well the status is going to be updated as completed so basically this is how to go about this how to create a simple strike through using checkboxes like subscribe for more videos tutorials like this and i'm going to do more sl videos like this and the weeks to come so like for more videos bye bye